spoke with Dr. Melissa Varey, the deputy director for the Richmond and Henrico Health Districts, and the first thing that she stressed multiple times, as Bill mentioned, is that this is just an, an advisory committee and that they still need to wait for final word from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the Food and Drug Administration about whether or not to go ahead with lifting the pause for the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. Dr. Varey saying that she also wants to see what additional information or what the final wording will be for everything regarding the context as context as what has gone on with the J&J &J vaccine so that people can feel confident in making an informed decision. And she adds that it's something that the Richmond Henrico Health Districts will be putting a lot of focus on if and when the J&J &J vaccine is unpaused. We want to make sure that you out there, everybody out there, they feel comfortable with the benefits and the risks. So we want to make sure that they feel okay with it. And because we want to make sure people feel confident about it, right? We want to make sure that, yes, this is why, this is how this has happened. This is how the pause happened. This is what the data showed. And these are the considerations. And that's, this is why you can feel comfortable about making your decisions around vaccination or choosing what vaccine you choose. And again, Dr. Ferrey stressing that this was just a recommendation from advisory committee and still waiting for a final decision from the FDA and CDC. And she also added that this whole process with the vaccine should give people confidence and not doubt about the safety mechanisms that are in place throughout this vaccine rollout, that they were alerted to this issue and decided to pause rather than just continue and have taken this time to weigh, balance the risks and rewards.